Good morning. I'm Lynn and welcome to another day at Utopia Farms. Those guys are still snoozing in the sun, but it's time for chores. So let's get started. The lambs weren't up by the house today, but I see they're running around back here. Arnie's just gotten a bale of hay. He's going to cut it open and feed the sheep. You know, it's breakfast time and they're hungry when the gate's open and nobody's out here. Oh, we got some rowdy ones out there. Hi, rowdy ones. Hi. Are you guys rowdy? Oh, well, you want your bottle. Let's go see if anyone else out there wants a bottle. Rowdy ones. We got one crew out here. And there we are with Peanuts Lamb out front. Hi. Hello, you guys. Seymour, would you like your bottle? Oh, that's not Seymour. You look awfully big for a 50-some. Hi. <laughs> it's a lot colder today. <laughs> Got that wind going again. But uh, these guys just love it. Hi. Oh, you've been doing the little fighting thing. You guys, you're far too young to be battling. Why would you have to do that? <laughs> There's one here that's covered in mud. Oh, and it's peanut. Oh no, it's um cupcake. She must have had a wipeout in the dirt. Cupcake, you're filthy. She looks good on this side, but on the other side, <laughs> there she is back there. But when she turns around, you'll see she's covered in mud. Did you, did you have a wipeout? There, you see the mud on her? <laughs> Here comes Seymour for his bottle. Like you need one. Here. Like you really need one. You're supposed to be a 90 pounder. You are a silly boy. You are a silly boy and you're a little on the greedy side. But you're a good grower. He only gets 300 mils a day of milk. Hey, just to keep you happy. Today is errand day for us. We have to go to the bank. We have to go to the grocery store. We have to go to the vet to pick up our Glanvac six shots. Hi. You are a nice lamb. Hi, buddy. How you doing? Hi. Would you like to come say hello? Would you like to come say hello? You don't need to be afraid. Come on. Come on, buddy. Hi. 
Hey, you're looking mighty handsome. Come on. They're looking curious, but they're nervous. Oh, you're gonna walk by me. See, one goes, they all go. Yeah, you gotta walk by me with the others. It's a scary prospect. Hi Benny. You can see Ben's got pressure on his leg today. Still favoring it a little bit, but now he's not holding it up in the air anymore. So I don't know. Uh, he leaps over everything and you see how fast they run around here. That's why we got him locked in here. Just so that they'll quiet down a bit. They're on a little bit of a walkabout now. Exploring the area. Ernie got him back. That, you don't want to eat that hay. That's the hay we're throwing away. Don't let him nibble at that. This hay got mold on it, so we don't want to feed this to the sheep. So we're going to put this in the manure pile. Yeah. See? See, she looks like she she must have done a slider in the mud. Cupcake. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna stick them in and we're gonna go feed the rams out front some hay before we head out and do our chores. First timers, eh? And we're gonna pull the ram out. But yeah. they say uh, first timers don't always breed right away. She's acting interesting. Right? Yep. She's acting like a whore. No, she's not. She's acting like she doesn't know what he's doing. I don't care. We can we can leave the no, no. rams in like we did with the other, sh with Fargo there, I the rams do better when they're in with the use than when they're in with the rams because nobody's gonna fight with them. Yeah. I, I'm, not, I'm not saying that you get rams. Eh? Yeah. No. Yeah. He let her go. Okay, now it's time to feed the big fellas. the hay like that he does it it's very gentle the hay bale is soft but uh, these guys were heading out the gate there we got Hannibal is limping so we're gonna have to check him out we're back to muddy conditions again and as soon as you get muddy conditions and this is the group that's outside all the time are, you see that the sheep indoors never get any hoof problems or limping problems or scald. It never happens. 
But once they get outside in the mud, it happens. You think that the indoor sheep are more maintenance, but at our farm we find that the outdoor sheep are way more maintenance. Just with health issues, worms, hoof problems, and it means you have to interfere and treat them. Whereas basically our sheep in the other barns are hands off. Here comes Scotty. Hi, Scotty. I already fed ya. Yeah, I did. I already fed ya. So we're back from the town and we're into night chores. And Arnie's got some little treats that have been exciting him all day. What is it, you may ask? Well, that's a little ladder and it goes up into a bucket and Arnie's put peanut butter in there yeah. on the roof. So something's going to walk up the little ladder. It's going to walk up here. It's going to go to that peanut butter and go whoop. And it's a sliding little thing. Isn't that railing? A little, uh, no, no railing, isn't that a step? Isn't that illegal? No, it's kind of steep too. Just Anyways, seat. it's, uh, this is what we're going to try to do to catch the rats. We're going to see how they work. So what happens is the mice and the rats walk up that ladder and they step onto that thing and it immediately slides and they fall into the bucket, but they can't get back out. And we're not going to kill them. We're going to catch them all and then we're going to release them far, far away in the forest. I just made a phone call. So we're going to make, we're going to, we're going to feed the owls and hawks. I just made a phone call at the local pet store. They said they'll take them to Toronto because Toronto people use them for pets. <laughs> they feed their snakes is what they do. I see how that works. We'll see how it works. We we got four of them, so we got a trial one on. What's that? What's that trap, Ernie? What? What's that trap? That's a squirrel trap. What's that for? What's that? What are you doing with that? I got two rats in that one. The problem with that trap is uh, it's too hell hard to trip. Yeah. It's a little more weight. That one's. But no, I can see these ones are really good. They're on the internet, so I thought I'd order a few to see how it worked out. And today will be the trial run, so we'll let you know tomorrow how that worked out. Right now it's getting dark because it gets dark really early and it's chore time. So Arnie's just gathering up the grain again because it's uh, basically the same routine as the morning. Just feeding the sheep because we split our feedings in two. We don't feed bottles at night anymore, so this is the last feeding of the day. He doesn't come out again in the dark. Once he starts lambing again, he'll be coming out at night. Got another trap in this barn. The 
problem with the first trap he set up is that there's a raccoon in that barn. And I'm thinking the raccoon will knock the rat trap over. But there's no raccoons in this barn, so they, we'll see how they work here. We're hoping we can catch a bunch. Everybody around here is saying the same thing, that there's an awful lot of rats this year. And they say when uh, you have a lot of rodents coming into the barns this early that it's a sign of a bad winter coming. Hopefully not. So this barn's done. Now on to the Dorset barn. Walk of Fame here. Elsie, you can see how big Elsie's getting there. And that's the lamb beside her we bought from the classic. less so they're not very happy anymore i'm going to try to dry them off so he's t he's cutting the this group off the ones with the lambs slowly they're still on grain but he's reducing it now because we got to think about drying them off so when they have less grain they'll start to produce less milk plus with the lambs being so big and nursing on them that will also help to dry them up and when we wean them we shouldn't have any issues with mastitis and stuff because they'll be nicely dried off. fit in? You look pretty large. You do, you look pretty large. And 
And now that the moms are fed, the lambs will get all their nighttime creep feed. Tomorrow they'll get a little more hay put in their feeders. She sees me. This is Seymour's sister. She thinks she's going to get a bottle. But they don't get a nighttime bottle anymore. So instead she goes to the creep feed. Now that, isn't that a tease? She calls in the lamb. She runs all the way to see her. And what she get for it? Nothing. Just nothing. Back to the creep feeder. She just wanted to make sure that her lamb was safe and was still here. Got a few ram lambs back in the corner over here battling. And it looks like we got a sneaky one. Must have went in there right behind me because I was just back there. And there she is in the feeder. It's out. It starts so early now. But like I say, we leave that row of Christmas lights on. Once it gets really dark, that just gives them enough light to see. You can see the other barn lit up still. And then we have these motion lights. You saw that just come on. That's for coyotes and for us. So if we're walking around here at night, they'll turn on so we don't trip over ourselves in the yard. But it's also for coyotes and they're on, they just come on quickly and they don't stay on for very long. But the lights flashing on and off like that, it freaks the coyotes out and they'll run off if the light auto automatically turns on like that because they'll think that there's a person around. So they're a good deterrent for if you have coyotes. Just have them set up around the yard. We have we have about four or five of them ar randomly around the yard. This is back at the Suffolk barn in Arnie's. We had a little bit of hay left over, so we just kicked the rest of it out just so that they could have a little extra hay for the night. And then the light goes off. Darkness, except for the little string of Christmas. Finally, we have the boys here. They have to go in for the night because they've been in. And we just gotta close the door so all the ewes are in. But as you can see, it looks like they're pretty well all in here anyway, but we'll just do a double check out the back door. But they don't wanna be out at this time of day, night because this is when the coyotes are most active. It's the dawn to dusk area time of days. But we'll put these boys in. <laughs> they want a little bit of hugs and stuff. Ben and Max, stop it. It's 
go. This is Lynn from Utopia Farms, and we're going to call this a day. And this is Arnie from Utopia Farms, because I'm with Lynn. And tomorrow we're going to have a fantastic day for you. Lynn's going to go overboard and do her very best tomorrow to try to please you people. So good night from Utopia Farms and all the sheep and all the rams and all the hard work and hopefully we get some rats tonight. Hey. Does that sound sarcastic to you guys? Because that sounded really, really sarcastic no, to me. No, it doesn't. It sounded really sarcastic. No. It did. It sounded well, I didn't like... Mean, I didn't, it sounded... Now, that, now, now that, that tells you how easily people can work things rather... That's you know, right, because really. that I sounded mean, like attitude. No, no, no. No? No, no. no, no, no attitude. attitude. Oh, you just read it wrong, Lynn. Look at those sheep. Just Did they have attitude? It's new. I'm getting tired. Okay, I'm going to go make dinner. Ernie's going to feed these guys their dinner. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. What's the supper? I don't know yet. <laughs>